In this short tutorial, we show you how to animate gravity with liquid simulations in Mantaflow. Currently, there's no gravity, and at the end, we add gravity by keying it, as you can see over here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is select your default cube and press H to hide it. I'm also gonna just make sure my screen keys are visible to you guys. There we go. And the very first thing I'll do is press numpad seven, shift A, we're going to use a curve and I'm going to use a path. You can use whichever you prefer. Then I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode and I am going to select these and make it go round basically. And then I just press E the whole time. E, cl e click, E click. And we pretty much just going to do this. There we go. Something like that should do. Next thing we want to do is turn on proportional editing. Uh, press numpad seven select this specific point here, press G to grab it, zoom out like that, then press, with, with grab selected, press Z, and then press five, and then click. And now we have this interesting shape, numpad one. Uh, you're welcome to select any point and, you know, play around with it, mess with it, but for, for all intensive purposes, I'm actually quite happy with, with this, the way it is. And I'll leave it like that. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is press tab, create a new collection. We're gonna call this collection path. Put the curve in the path collection, and then we click over here, create a new collection, and we're gonna call this collection flow. And we're gonna press Shift A mesh, and we're gonna use a UV sphere in this example. Scale this puppy down to something a lot smaller like that. Right click Shade Smooth. Um, we're also gonna click over here and select what we wanna see in render view. You never wanna see your flow in the render view. It's not needed, so you can just click that and that should be fine. And uh, we're gonna to go to the Physics Properties, Fluid, Flow, liquid and we want this to be an inflow and we're going to make this animation about 300 frames should do and we, we can create an initial velocity but we'll leave things as is but one thing we do want is at frame one we want to have a keyframe but at frame 250 we no longer want well, we're going to, well, let's go to 25, 249. We'll make sure it's flowing the whole time. But when we get to 250, we can turn off the flow. So it's almost like turning off the tap. So no more fluid comes out. The other thing we want to do is go to the object constraint properties and we want it to follow the path. So we click follow path. And uh, important here, I'm going to press N. You need to make sure that your location is zero for your object as well as your path. And if you move this, let's say we moved it here, location is not zero. Well, you can press Control A and just click location and then it goes to zero. Then you can all work fine. But I'm gonna just leave things where they are. I don't need to move them. Uh, we're gonna select our path, which is the snaps path. And we can make it follow the curve and then we're gonna press animate. Now, when we press play, let's just go back to frame one. Now when we press play, we can see it move quite nicely around this really hastily done Christmas tree type, demented fixture type thing, or whatever you want to call this. Uh, if you want more control, we're going to click, say fixed position. And on frame one, we're going to hover over here and we're going to press I. Then we're going to go to frame 250. And we're gonna click here and put this on one and then we're gonna press I. So now when we rewatch this, it will move a lot slower and we'll only reach the top at 
frame 250. Here we go. I'm quite happy with that. The next thing we want to do is create a the domain. So we can go, we can create a new collection here. Call this domain. And we want to put our default cube in here. Let's make it visible. Choose wireframe mode. Select it and First thing I do is I press tab, then I press, to go into edit mode, I press G to grab it, Z on the Z axis and one. And I'm gonna turn off proportional editing, I don't need it. But now when I press tab to go into object mode and I press S5, for example, well, we don't even need that. S3 should be more than enough. I'm just gonna press G and just bring it down to about, about there. That should work perfect for what we want. And now we can go to the physics properties, fluid, and we're going to go to the domain and change gas to liquid. Um, this voxel is a little bit big for our water particle system, so we probably want to just up this to at least 64 uh, resolution. And we're going to click on mesh. And now we can see it's working, which is good. We're going to up this to 300. We're gonna make this all. We're gonna make it resumable. And one other thing we need to do for the our effect to work, which is the purpose of this tutorial, we have to go to field weight, go down to gravity, be on frame one, click on gravity, make this zero, press I while you hover over it, then go to frame 250 Uh, well, it's on zero, press I. But when you go to frame 251, click on here, press one, and then press I. Now your gravity is set up as well. Now you can just bake this in, and I'll see you after the bake. All right, now that it's baked, we can press play. We can also change this to solid view mode, I guess. And we can probably make the domain shaded smooth and as you can see it slowly but surely has one solid stripe going all the way around this path in spite of the gravity it's not falling down which is great please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment And once it gets to frame 250, uh, gravity kicks in. And then we get that effect you saw in the beginning of the video.